one of the things we want to be able to do with the web page is validate it. Make sure that it meets standards. And so we can do that. There's a tool for validating web pages. And it is that the W3 Schools um, makes this available. So you can do W3 Schools uh, Validator and just search that and it will come up. Or you can, you know, bookmark the link, uh, which is validator.w3.org. And what this does is this is a tool that allows you to validate. Now notice you can validate um, by URI. So if you if it's a web page that's been published, you can just put the address in here. Uh, you can do it by direct input, which means you can just type or copy paste your HTML here and check it. The one we're going to use today is to validate by file upload because we have a page that has not been uploaded yet, has not been published on the web, it's just on our local machine. So it's a file on our local machine, we want to choose that file. Again, we need to know where we are, um, be able to find this, and the one I want to do is this overhead.html file. So I want to validate it to see if everything is in order. And it turns out, yahoo, this document was success, successfully checked as HTML 1.0 strict. That's great. That's what we're looking for. Um, just up front, let me know this is not usually what you get the first time. So let's go ahead and make a few changes. In fact, let's go ahead and add a couple of things. So do you remember that comment we said that said, add an image here of a scientific beaker? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and say we want to add the image. And the source is the file. Let me go see. Oh, it turns out, hmm, I actually want to do this idea one. And, okay, so think of an idea. So I'm going to do that one instead of a scientific beaker. So the name of the file is idea dot, ooh, which kind, I have to know exactly what it is. It's idea.png. And I'm going to say, I'm going to describe this to somebody who might not see the image. So picture of child with scientific idea. Um, child having, maybe. Okay, so an idea of child. And then I close that image tag. So here I've added this image tag, I'll say, of a scientific idea. Okay, so now I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and reload it here. Ooh, and it's not coming up. Let me go ahead and see if I've got the right file open. So I'm going to go ahead. Nope, I'm in the wrong file and that's why I didn't see the change. Often that happens that you're looking at one file and changing another. So I want to make sure I'm in the right one. So I'm going to go find the file I'm working on. And there it is, it shows up. Okay, so that's great, so this is working. Now I want to go make sure it validates. So I'm just gonna use my back arrow and I'm going to go ahead and do a file upload. Um, I'm gonna choose the file and here it is, validate.html and I'm gonna check it. Ooh, and it says there's an error. This is the red line, this is what we hope doesn't happen but it actually happens a lot. So I'm gonna scroll down here and it says, huh, this is your best piece of information. It says on line 18, so right away we know where it's happened. So it's right here on this line, aha, uh -huh, line 18. And then it tells us something about it. Document type does not allow element image here. It's like, why, why can't an image go here? What's wrong with that? Um, but it says it's missing one of a paragraph, a heading, a div tag, something. It's saying it's missing something. So remember how we talked about images can't stand alone? They actually have to be contained in something. And here's this error telling us this. So often the error message doesn't, we're not quite sure what it means when it describes the error, but it gives us some clues. So the, the, the message gives us some clues and it tells us where to look. So it's either this line or, or maybe the line right before or after it. So it's usually close to that. So I'm gonna say, okay, I remember that this has to be contained in something. So I'm going to put it inside a paragraph. And then I save it, and I use my back error, arrow, and the file's already there, so now I just check it. And there it is, now it passes. 
So I found that. Sometimes when you're validating, you get a really long list of errors. What you want to do is go to the top error, fix it, save it, and then revalidate. Sometimes fixing one error gets rid of a whole bunch of other errors.